Welcome back friends. Now we are talking about linkage mapping problems. We have discussed about the two point mapping as well as three point mappings and we have seen how to solve those problems. But in this video we will be talking about uh, the final type of problem which are the find out the linkage map or genetic map of few genes. In this case we will be solving a problem using six genes. Now what they provide us in this video as, as example they, they are providing us uh, the different groups uh, or the different genes. So th there are six genes for Bombix mori which is a silk moth. The gene names are GR, then RC, then S, then Y, then P, and then OA. These are the genes. And obviously they put these things uh, vertically also to get the numbers. And what they provide us, they provide us the number of the recombination frequency. So the recombination frequency here are provided in this table. Okay, now once they provide us the recombination frequencies, it becomes super easy for us to calculate rest of the things. So, because we know that if they provide us a raw data, they can provide us two things, either raw data or this kind of frequency table. Now, if they provide us raw data, it, it becomes difficult for us to get the idea because raw data, we need to find out the recombination frequency for the raw data. This is for the first place. Second thing, after uh, getting the value of recombination frequency, we need to solve the problem. But in this type of problems, they have already given us the recombination frequency in a tabular form. So it becomes easy for us to calculate what is going to be the position of all those genes. Because the only question that they are going to ask from this kind of problems are the position of these genes. Now what they can do, they can uh, provide us many genes to confuse us. So here uh, you have seen that uh, there are six genes in this particular example that they have provided us to get uh, to make us confused. But don't be confused because these problems are easier than the three point test cross problems. And this is the table. So let me mark this table out first. So here are this table. So here it is the different boxes. Here it is. I don't know whether they are straight or not, but whatever, it will work. Okay. So these are the boxes, and what are responsible for this all boxes? The numbers that you can see in all these boxes are the recombination frequency. So it is called recombination frequency table. For Bombix Mori, what they have asked us is what are the position of these three genes? The genes are G R R C S Y P N O A. What are the positions? How can we find out? There are simple approaches. So I'm going to tell the step by step approach. Just be with me. And I'm telling you this is really easy. Now what we need to talk about before uh, going to solve this problem. We need to understand the basics of recombination. And I've already talked about that. And that is if we get high number of frequency. Now one thing you need to know is that this recombination frequency is directly proportional with the distance between genes. If you know this concept, then rest of the part will become super easy for you. So this is the important part. Recombination frequency is directly proportional with the distance between genes. Now in this case, what we get, so we get if we get high frequency, that means the genes are placed far apart. But if we get least frequency, that means those genes are placed close enough. Okay. So let us find out uh, using this formula what are going to be those genes. So in this case. GR, GR, that means these two genes never have a crossover between same genes. So there's a, that's why it's a dot, dash. For this one, GR with RC. So the distance between the gene GR and RC and the recombination frequency is 25 means this is the highest recombination frequency in, the, in this uh, total row. That means this distance between GR and RC is the highest. So we cannot put GR right next to RC. So what we need to find, we need to find the least. And we need to look for from the least one, we are going towards the higher frequency. So the least one here it is this S1, which is a frequency one. That means this GR and S are placed really close to each other, right? So what we put, we simply put this one because it is in the first. So let's put GR. Right after it, we put this S. Okay. After that, let's get the further uh, increase. So this is seven. So after one, we get a seven. So we get a P. So after that, let's put P here. Now far distance apart is again. After 7, we are having 19, which is Y, then the 20, which is OA. So, what we are arranging, we are arranging all these genes using all these genes using the number of frequencies. So, we are getting lower number towards a higher number. Okay, now after that, it will be RC. Okay, so this is the arrangement. 
for the second line so this is for the first line for the second line what is going to be smallest one is this one so definitely rc is from the beginning so rc and after that we are having this one oa so oa is right after rc then what we get this one which is y then after 6 we get 25 which is gr then what we get 26 which is s then we get a 32 which is p okay now after that the third one is this one Again, the least one is 1, so it starts with S. Least one is 1, that means GR. Then after 1, we are having 6, which is with P. Then we are having 20, which is with Y. Then we are having 21, which is with OA. Then we are having 26, which is with RC. Right? Now the fourth type, okay. Now the fourth type is, starts with Y. After y, the least one is this one, so with OA, after this OA, what we get is with 6, that means with RC, okay, after that, what do you get, RC, after that we get this one GR, after this GR we get 20, which is S, after this S, uh, what we get is 26, which is P. Now the fifth one, the fifth line, the least one is 6 with S so P is the starting point with S after that we get 7 which is with GR after that we get here it is uh, 26 with Y then we get 27 with OA then we get 32 with RC now the sixth place what we get is starts with OA so let put let's put OA after that we get 1 with Y then what we get is uh, 5 with RC, then we get 20 with GR, then we get 21 with S, then we get 27 with P. Okay, so this one is pretty absurd, so let us, let us make it it's GR, so we need to arrange it quick like, so it's P, it's Y, OA, and RC is the last. So these are the arrangement, right? This is the arrangements. Okay. So GR and this is the S and this is the P. Okay. So this is the arrangement. If we arrange all these data together. So by looking at this arrangement, now what we can tell is that most of them, most of them uh, here as we can see here, ends up with RC. We need to find whether the most of them starts with something very common or ends with something very common. This is the second important part. After arranging them, the second important step is we need to find the common. We can see the most of them are having the end with R, C and P. So what we need to do, we need to flip them. So either we flip this P1, so we get only three P's here, so we can flip this thing out. Right? So let's flip this thing out. Okay. So if we flip, say this, this one, which is having this P. So now we can see that most of them are starts with P and RC. So let us flip either these RCs or having those P's. So we can flip it. So now let's flip. If we flip them, so what is uh, what is going to be the answer if we flip them? So let us put here um, RC at the very beginning. Sorry, this is a GR, right? So how can we flip it? So let's flip it. So let's say here RC with right after then this. So we are flipping it, right? So here it is RC. At the very first, then we will be OA, then we are having Y, then we are having P, then we are having S, then we are having GR. So let's put this super fast. So this is going to be the flipping answer RC, OA, Y, P, S, GR. Right? Okay. Okay. Now we are going to flip this one is this one again. So let's flip this one again. So it should be RC, then it should be OA, then Y, then P, then GR, then S. So let's flip it again. So this is the important part. Remember, we need to find out which is the most common one at the end. Now here we found that uh, most of the place we found RC or P, so we can flip any one of them. Okay. So we are flipping all the all of those uh, data which are having RC at the end. So it should be P, G, R, and S. Now the third one is this one, right? 
so if you flip it r c o a y g r s and p let us write it here so here it is r c o a y g r s and p so after arranging all the datas using our formula that we need to arrange them so after arranging all of them we get a pattern can you find out the pattern now let us see the pattern most of them look at it most of them begins with rc 4 out of 6 of them begins with rc and most of them ends with a p 4 of them ends with a p so it is telling us out of 6, 4, that means a very good, very good or very high, above 60, it's like 60% 60 of begins with RC and ends with P. So it is giving us the idea is that it is the possibility of placing this RC and P at the bottom, at the, sorry, at the terminal. So according to our choice, what is going to be it? So it is going to be RC at one terminal and P at the other terminal. So at the middle, we are having four things to be filled. So we can make a conclusion that RC can begin and P can end. Or we can say P can begin, RC can end. So the terminal genes must be RC and P because it is giving us after the arrangement. Right? So once we arrange this thing, second thing is to arrange rest of the four genes. How to arrange them? Again, similarly, we need to scan through the place. So if we scan through this second line, this second line, we are getting OA, 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 and so we get 5 way out of 6 that means it is again getting us giving us high confidence level that we must place OA after RC so let's put here a OA at the second place okay so at the second place sorry, let us put here a OA I don't know whether you can see it or not so let me write it here using this black okay after that let's scan the third place Y Y Y Y so 4 Y out of 6 again it's a good one so we put a y here so if we get the values more than 3 we'll put those values we'll get those values so here it is in the fourth place we are having p gr c gr 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 so four grs so again let us put this gr at this place after that what we have we are having s s s s s and 5s so let's put s here because it shouldn't be uh, gr because it should be s right so what is the arrangement for this purpose rc and p will be the terminal and the rest of the four genes are arranged like this so if we arrange all our genes uh, according to our scheme it should be rc oa y gr s and p so this should be the arrangement either this way of uh, from the rc to p or from p to rc the genes are placed in this manner so this should be our answer so you can see the problem is easy just we need to first we need to remember the recombination frequencies are always directly proportional with the distance between genes and using that we need to arrange the sequences and after the arranging the sequences we need to scan for the common sequences in all this different data set when we get the common sequence we put those sequence and we get our desired sequence that's it okay so that's all and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.